Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this eye look right here. And the top part of my lid has warm neutral tones and then on the bottom I have a pop of blue. And of course, you know, 4th of July is like tomorrow. <laughs> so um, I was inspired by 4th of July, but I wouldn't necessarily say this is the 4th of July look. And if you are curious what is on my lips, this is Jeffree Star Floral Liquid Lipstick in the shade Abused Blue Velvet. And I also used a Maybelline um, Bold Lipstick in the shade 750 Wickedly White. And I know y'all see that highlight. <laughs> that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Palette. I used Blue Ice and Blue Moon, and then I warmed it up a bit with some of the shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. So if you guys want to know how to get this eye look, then keep on watching. As usual, I already have one eye done, and I've pretty much given up wearing falsies. I just wear my natural lashes now and use really great mascara. So this is a super easy look to do, so let's get started. First I'm going to go in with these two shades from the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette, and these are going to act as my transition shades. Next I'm going to go in with this reddish brown shade and the shade burgundy from Lorac Pro Matte Palette. And these are going to be my crease shades and I'm not trying to really define my crease, I just want it to be a wash of color. So I'm going to be adding pigment, blending, and adding pigment and blending again. And it's okay if you get um, some of this eyeshadow on your lid, it's not really going to make a difference. We're not doing a cut crease look. Um, so if you do get some pigment on your eyelid, don't worry about it. Next I'm going to go in with this shade from the Matte for Matte palette and the shade Bear from the Lorac Pro Matte palette. And these two are going to act as my brow bone highlight. Next I'm going in with this dark brown shade from the Bad For Matte palette. It's not really even a charcoal, um, so I'm placing this on the outer corner of my eye and bringing it up to, into my crease. Once again, all of these shades are just a wash of color. There's not really a lot of pigment just in place. Then I'm using the lightest shade to put all over my lid. Then for my bottom lash line, I'm going in with this Milani Stay Put eyeliner in the shade Keep On Sapphire. And that's going to go into my waterline. And then I'm going to take the shades Poison and Swallow from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and use those to smudge out that eyeliner. did add a wing to my top lash line and I used my NYX Matte Liquid Liner for that. And then to soften up my bottom lash line, I'm going back in with my transition colors and then apply mascara and that's the look. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And if you've been waiting for a review on this hair, it's coming girl, it's coming. It's coming. Be patient, it's coming. <laughs> anyway guys, see you next time. Bye!